Hi guys. Well, I guess old man winter has returned here. Good Lord, in mid-October we have somehow stumbled into uh, Thursday night, October, is it 10th or 11th, somewhere in there. 2024 so uh old marin winter has returned to new york baby right on schedule uh so i need to be thinking about heading back to the sunshine state and uh also what i'm thinking about is i i am just gonna have to restructure uh the, the whole way Collapse Chronicles is uh, structured. So now, last night I absolutely loved it. Right here on the mainstream media, this this absolute hopium-free, honest appraisal of how fucked we are on this planet, and that video I did last night. But of course. Uh, there will be more to say about this uh, tomorrow night in my Ain't Gonna Happen roundup. And so, right when that that report I was talking about last night, how, what was it, that 25 of the 35 indicators this report was looking at about the collapse of everything, how we've already crossed 25 of the 35 uh, we have 10 more to go before we're completely fucked, and there's nothing we're going to do about it. Uh, right on the heels of that report, we have the newest edition of the World Wildlife Fund Living Planet Index report, where they basically uh, take a survey of our fellow Earthlings, at least our fellow non domesticated earthlings to see how fucked they are and, and of course every time one of these things comes out uh, our fellow earthlings are a hell of a lot more fucked than they than they were before and so this is the BBC news I, I just threw a dart at the main and picked the BBC news and and so here here's you know how they do they uh, spend, uh, you know, about this much time explaining how at least 73% of our fellow Earthlings are completely fucked. And then they just spend about this much time going off into La La Land about how humans... Humans, you know, the reason why 73% of our uh, fellow earthlings are fucked, the, the reason why they're fucked are going to save the fellow earthlings. And, we, and, we, and you know, I've been talking, and we all know what I'm talking about. Uh, so what I need to start doing in, uh, what would that be, in my Saturday through Thursday Chronicles of the Collapse, uh, I, I'm going to read, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to pick some story and, and read the 80 to 90 percent of the story chronicling the collapse of everything, whatever it is that they're chronicling uh, as part of the collapse of everything. And I'm going to stop before the fucking hopium at the end. The ain't going to happen bullshit hopium. And so, so we can have six honest chronicles of the collapse about how fucked everything is but we're gonna save uh we're we're we're, we're gonna save the ain't gonna happen portion of the show until friday and read the last paragraph of the of the six things so it's you know more and more uh what you're seeing is it you, you are seeing more and more admission 
of how fucked we all are. Uh, whatever they're looking at, in, in this case, in the living planet, although I call it, of course, the dying planet. What it is, is a dying planet index. It's not a living planet index. It's a dying planet index. And so they're looking at our fellow Earthlings in this case, but whatever they're, 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 they're looking at, the mainstream media is getting a little more honest in reporting at least the we are so fucked part of it. But they're not ready to admit there's, you know, the, there's not a goddamn thing that anybody is going to do about it. It ain't going to happen. Uh, this is where people refuse uh, to tread. And, and, and to there's not a goddamn thing uh, we're, we're going to do about it. Uh, half of the equation. They admit that we're all fucked, but then they pull out that and, and that humans, the reason, uh, whatever it is, the reason that whatever it is they're talking about is fucked is humans, then claiming, well, it, it's humans that are going to turn the, 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 the whole uh, situation around, and no one's going to talk about if humans are the problem, that's gotten the planet from a living planet into a dying planet. The answer to the pro if the problem is humans, the solution is to get rid of the fucking humans. And nobody is going to say that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on to BBC News and read the honest uh, part of this article, and, and, and th there's probably 10 versions of this out on the mainstream media. This is the, the way the BBC News uh, is spinning it. <clears throat> Wildlife numbers fall by 73% in the last 50 years. Global stock take finds a global stock take. So, uh, you know, each time they do one of these, the number, they go back 50 years and the number rises and the number rises. The first one, I think it was at 66% uh, that I remember. And now, uh, this year, they're up to 73%, uh, uh, which I'm quite sure is, uh, is conservative. Okay. And so, of course, we start out with these two words. The first two words in this fucking article, human activity. Human activity is. Okay, one, one more time, guys. We, 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 we got, I, I have to start educating people how to view the planet through the lens of a doomer, which is the uh, the correct lens. This whole term human activity is a a redundant, uh, unnecessary uh, description of the word humans. Whenever you see the two words human activity is Human activity is doing this. Human activity is doing that. You simply say, humans are. It's no other activity. It's human activity being activated by humans. This whole term, human activity, it's a good start. It needs to fucking go. Call it what it is. It's not... He, the, the problem on the planet is not human activity. Human activity is not causing the sixth mass extinction. Humans are. Okay? So they've already fucked it up in the first three fucking words of the story. Human activity is. No, it's not. Human activity is not. Humans are. Ugh. God, why am I not the publisher 
of the BBC. Okay, to if I were a copy editor at the BBC, I would have my red pen out. Humans are continuing to drive what conservation charity, conservation charity, the World Wildlife Fund for Nature calls a quote, catastrophic loss of species. From elephants in tropical forests to hawks build turtles off the Great Barrier Reef, populations, you know, of our fellow earthlings are plummeting According to a stock take, a stock take of the world's wildlife, I have never seen the word stock take uh, since the day I was born, 65, I've never seen the word stock take. I don't know if the word stock take is a word or not. I don't know, is the word stock take a word? Definition of stock take, probably taking stock. Stock take, an assessment and record of the amount of stock held by a business. There you go held by a business. So I think that's a very accurate term. Yes, according to a stock take uh, uh, of our, 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 uh, the assets of a business, a stock take. Anyway, the Living Planet Report, otherwise known more correctly as the Dying Planet Report, a comprehensive overview of the state of the natural world reveals global wildlife populations have shrunk by an average of 73% in the last 50 years. The loss of wild spaces, otherwise known as habitat destruction, the loss of wild spaces was, quote, putting many ecosystems on the brink. Hmm. World Wildlife Federation, the UK head, Tanya Steele said, and many habitats from the Amazon rainforest to coral reefs are, quote, on the edge of very dangerous tipping points. The report is based on the living, well, the dying planet index of more than 5,000 bird, mammal, amphibian, reptile, and fish population counts over five decades. Notice that insects, the insect apocalypse is not part of the study. Among many snapshots of human-induced wildlife loss, it reveals 60% of the world's Amazon Pink River dolphins have been wiped out by pollution and other threats, including mining and civil unrest. Civil unrest in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. They don't mention all these goddamn uh, Save the Planet hydroelectric dams being one of the biggest threats to Amazon pink dolphins. But don't worry, and, and this is not really even the Hopian part, the report also captured also captured also captured also captured also captured also captured hopeful signs of conservation success. A sub, a sub population of mountain gorillas in the Varunga Mountains of East Africa increased by about 
3% per year between 2010 and 2016, for example. There you go. There you go. And so uh, I, let, let, let's cut the fucking bullshit on, 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 on these fucking gorillas. Okay, in, in anybody who doesn't understand uh, what is going on with the, with these goddamn gorillas in the Virunga Mountains, you've got to watch the documentary. I think it's just called Virunga, V-I-R-U-N-G-A. An excellent documentary about how fuck those gorillas are. So, what this is also is it, kind of an illustration of the John Michael Greer uh, concept of catabolic collapse, kind of the stair step collapse. And, and, and these uh, and these fucking gorillas are a perfect example of this. So, what you have with these gorillas since I guess Barunga came out. Is, is that these gorillas are completely fucked, and I'm guessing the population of these gorillas is probably down by 73% or whatever uh, over the, the, you know, the 50 years up until 2010. Uh, I won't get into a whole rant about chrysanthemum farming for the pyrethrum market. That is a whole nother rant. Chrysanthemum farming for the pyrethrum market. I, I, I'm not even going to get off uh, uh, onto there. So the, so the fucking gorillas, they're fucked. Their, 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 their population is absolutely hammered in the 50 years leading up to 2010. And now the population has crept back up uh, by 3% per year. Uh, like that means a fucking thing. These, these gorillas are fucked. Okay, so they can sit there and, 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 and search the entire world for some little ray of hopium, uh, some unadulterated horseshit, and, and what's going to happen, what's going on uh, 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 over there in Africa and Uganda and Rwanda, I was just talking, just read a fucking essay by a sub-Saharan African, uh, this, 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 you know, 50 steps, three, 50 steps backwards, three steps forwards shit is going to be, is going to be a joke. Uh, all of these threats against gorillas uh, are, are, they're, they're, there's not going to be a fucking gorilla in the Varunga Mountains in, in a, well, absolute outside 30 years. Okay. The Virunga Mountain gorillas will be obliterated from the off the face of this planet by 2050 at the very outside. Despite this little, you know, the the catabolic collapse of gorillas looking like this, then it's gonna it's gonna go like this. It's going to be a little hiccup, and then it's going to go over the fucking Seneca Cliff. There's not going to be any more fucking gorillas on this planet. Cut the fucking bullshit about the fucking gorillas. I'm sick and tired of this unadulterated horseshit uh, about a success story uh, about these mountain gorillas in, in, uh, in, in, in Virunga National Park uh, over there in one of those shithole countries. Pull your head out of your ass. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm just uh, adding a little bit of editorial uh, insight to the BBC. So where was I? Okay. But the World Wildlife Fund said these, meaning the gorillas, quote, isolated successes are not enough amid a backdrop of the widespread destruction of habitats, close quote. Tom Oliver, professor of ecology at the University of Reading, who is unconnected with the report, 
said when this information was combined with other d data sets, insect declines, for example, when you put this up next to the insect apocalypse, quote, we can piece together a robust and worrying picture of global biodiversity collapse, close quote. The report found ha habitat degradation and loss was the single biggest threat to wildlife, followed by over-exploitation, invasive species, disease, climate change, and pollution. Otherwise, the report found humans were the biggest threat to wildlife, followed by humans, 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 and humans. Lead author and World Wildlife uh, Fund Chief Scientific Advisor Mike Barrett said through human action, he didn't say activities, through human actions, otherwise known as humans, quote, particularly the way we produce and consume our food, we are increasingly losing natural habitat. Well, he's partly right. It's not the way we produce and consume our food. It is the way we produce or reproduce more humans. Okay? Cut the shit. Mr. Scientific Advisor Mike Barrett, the number one cause of habitat destruction is not the way we produce and consume our food. It is the way we produce more humans with mouths that need to eat. A human that is never born will never eat a bite of food. We do not need to fuck our fellow earthlings to produce food for a person that is never born who will never consume the food. Do we get it, guys? I, I, I'm trying to educate you on how to cut through the bullshit. And the BBC is better than the shit you're going to read over here. Okay. The report also warns nature loss and climate change are fast pushing the world towards irreversible tipping points, including the potential collapse, and they put the word collapse in quotes, including the potential, quote, collapse of the Amazon rainforest where it can no longer lock away planet warming carbon and mitigate the impacts of climate change. Said Mr. Barrett, please don't just feel sad about the loss of nature, be aware that this is now a fundamental threat to humanity and we have really got to do something now, close quote. Valentina Macaroni from the Zoological Society of London's Institute of Zoology told BBC News that the natural world is in a, quote, precarious position, but, but, and there you go. For the rest of this article, the fucking BBC uh, sticks its head back up its ass 
and talks about how humans, humans, are going to save our fellow earthlings. Unadulterated, ain't gonna ha happen. <coughs> Happy horseshit. And uh, we will read the end of this article tomorrow. We will go back, we'll revisit that story, that hopium free story on the mainstream media read last night. We're going to go back to the original report, read the end of it. We're going to revisit this story about how fucked our fellow earthlings are. And, and we're going to read the end of it. And, and, and here we go uh, over and over and over again. Uh, we're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. But. But, I get so fucking sick, I, I, I'm just sick and tired of it, folks. I'm just sick and tired of this, of, of this ain't gonna happen, uh, hopium peddling uh, on, on the mainstream media and, and everywhere else. The gorillas are fucked, okay? Deal with it. And with that, I'm going to freshen my drink and go over there and uh, watch Netflix with their new ads. Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow night with the end of the story.